so Paige was just five years old when we moved to Arizona. And, you know, you can't help on this wedding day. You get very sentimental as a, as a father and a parent. And while the graduations and birthdays are what stand out the most, what, what resonates with me the most are just flashes of these moments. Before we moved to Arizona, when Paige was little, whenever it rained, she'd run inside, get her bathing suit, go outside. She loved running in the rain. And then she went to California and she had spent five years in California and built a great life for herself, going to school and working. And there were great moments of hunting for apartments and looking for gluten-free food and, and it's all over. And these are all the moments that for me may sound small, but they flash. I promise to always put you first, to look after you and treasure you like the princess you are. I promise to always work through the hard times and cherish every moment we spend together. I've heard the saying many times, if you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans. Well, someone out there must be laughing after three <laughs> wedding day changes. But this never stopped me from making plans anyway. I've attempted plans on how I think my life should go, where to live, go to school, and who I'd end up with. I'm so thankful that our paths crossed and that we are now on a path to an amazing future together. And there is no one I would rather spend my life with, and Lily of course. You have shown me the beauty of real love, and I will always fight for us. And when I look back on the things I'm most grateful for, are the things I never even planned at all. Moving to California, getting Lily, and meeting you. I could have never planned to meet a boy from a small town in England, fall madly in love, and fight, and fight to prove our love to the government to stay together. As I stand here today and think about how nothing has gone to plan and how it's so much better than I could have ever dreamed of. You're so much better than I could have ever dreamed of. Your kindness, patience, and generosity know no limits. Everyone who meets you falls madly in love with you. My whole life I've always felt incomplete. <sighs> Until the day I met you in that froyo shop. <sighs> Sorry. You became my solid rock in my turbulent life. In turn, leading me to become a better man. I love you always and forever. with her to meet a guy from England that she met on Tinder and she was worried that you're we picking up this strange foreign man and she didn't want it to be weird. So I came along with them. We ended up driving home, dropping him off and I remember sitting in Paige's car and I turned to her and said, do you think you're ever going to see him again? And she was like, Nah, and we just laughed and that was the end of it. I didn't know how important that night was gonna be for both of them and me as well. Because Paige came to me in a time in my life when I didn't really know that I needed her. And I feel like Sam came in Paige's life when she didn't know that she needed him. And I've had such a wonderful privilege of watching their relationship turn into something so beautiful. I'd just like to say, although we've been friends longer than any of us can remember, you're more than just a friend to us. You're a brother, family member, the whole family loves you, everyone's family loves you, and make us proud every day. I am 
so excited to stand here today and vow to you the only plan I'm willing to make is to spend the rest of my life with you. I can't wait to just wing it through life with you. I love you.